Selena announces a new music video and a new Pantene campaign. And Perry is revealing her plans, or lack thereof, to marry Zayn Malik. What? And in some scary news, Five Sauce's Michael catches on fire on stage. Craziness. We've got all the details coming up on today's rundown. Happy Monday, people. Welcome back to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Erin Robinson with Jocelyn Davis in studio What's today. up, girl? What's up, guys? A whole lot happened with Selena Gomez over the weekend. A We've lot. got the details. Selena's fashion was red hot mm -hmm. in Cancun over the weekend. She was promoting her upcoming animated movie, Hotel Transylvania 2, the sequel. Yes. And she couldn't have looked more stunning. So Selgo stepped out in this red hot Katie or Milo crop top and skirt ensemble that featured this really adorable little side bow accent on her hip. and these gorgeous strappy Christian Louboutin heels. And she Instagrammed this photo commemorating the moment alongside of her co-stars Kevin James and Adam Sandler with the caption, my castmates, Hotel Transylvania 2. And she also took some time to pose with some cute little fans with the caption, press with the crew babies. So cute, those kids. In other Selena Gomez news, you guys, she just announced that she is the brand new spokesperson for Pantene Pro-V, and we saw it in all of its glory in this cute behind-the-scenes video. Hi, I'm Selena Gomez, and I am thrilled and honored to be representing the new Pantene. I cannot wait to see what we're gonna do, and we're gonna have an awesome, awesome year. So you can see that Selena is absolutely just glowing in a series of all-white ensembles. This pantsuit is my favorite, and the hair flipping and the fan action is truly next level. She mm -hmm. looks like just I, like a doll. Yes, this is her destiny. But I also love that she didn't just take the job because of the money involved. She did it because the campaign inspires more than just strong hair. And in our final Selena Gomez update, I promise this is it. Over the weekend, <laughs> she teased her brand new music video. And we now know it's going to be for a song called Good For You and that it's going to be out on June 22nd. The little screen grab was gorgeous. The black and white, mm -hmm. it looks so artsy fartsy. I love it. I can't wait. All right, Erin, so remember last week when we thought that Perry and Zane had actually possibly gotten married? Yeah. Well, not only is that not true, but Perry is also telling the world that she is sick of people asking when they are getting married. In an interview with Capital FM, the Little Mix singer was asked what one question she never wants to be asked again, and here's what she said. I'm sick of getting asked, when is the wedding, when is the wedding? I'll get married when I'm bloody ready! Hey. <laughs> so Zayn and Perry have been engaged for about two years at this point. Clearly they're in no rush, and they've obviously been just a little bit busy, so in case you didn't get the memo, don't ask. never ask again. Okay, it's time to get serious right now because mm -hmm. this is mm -hmm. terrifying. So it is. in a scary turn of events, Five Sauces, Michael Clifford, he caught fire on stage while performing during an encore, and it's terrifying. <laughs> So this was at their show at Wembley Arena on Saturday, and just, I mean, I guess some pyrotechnics. It looks kind of like it shot towards them, I'm not quite sure, but he kind of freaked out. But you guys, no worries, he's gonna be a-okay. He was rushed to the hospital, obviously, but it doesn't seem like he sustained any just life-threatening burns because they're gonna do another show and he's excited about it. He actually took to Twitter to say, what the f up? Sorry I couldn't finish the encore, but at least I look like Two-Face. Thanks for worrying everyone. And then Callum expressed his concern saying, no one ever wants to see your best friend in the state. I saw Mike backstage. He's a trooper and is okay. Okay, honestly, I'm so used to seeing these guys do the most ridiculous things they never have pants on, just to state the obvious. <laughs> So this kind of freaked me out even more because I was thinking, are they prepared to survive this? Yeah, I thought it was a prank at first, mm -hmm. but then I realized after he totally freaked out that this is really serious. These pyrotechnics are not safe. Mm -mm. Okay, so I think most of you guys know how I feel about Jimmy Fallon. I feel very passionately about him and his lip sync battle is one of, if not the best things to happen in 2015. So <laughs> Lena Dunham was on The Tonight Show recently where she broke it down with Jimmy and what I love is that girlfriend showed up in like her tennis, Nike tennis suit so that she could really like drop it down and get low and I'm glad she did because check out what happened on the show. Oh. <laughs> 
So that was Lena Dunham showing off her bootay. As per, per usual. As per the usual. Sorry. Something we haven't seen before. Um, she did the classic song Fat Bottom Girls by Freddie Mercury. Jimmy did great. He still lost. But another cool moment came during the interview when Jimmy asked her who her dream person would be to go up against on lip sync. And she said Kendall and Kylie Jenner. Here's a little more detail. They can practice as long as they want. <laughs> you think and you can take them, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, I respect what they're doing. I res respect what they're bringing to, um, to like, the game, but I, like I want to. Yeah, you want to bring it to the, the yeah. more? We'll bring it here to the, to the, to the octagon. <laughs> you guys, who knows? Lip Sync Battle is a show on Spike, so this could happen. Well, a couple of days ago, Miss Katy Perry announced to the world that she was going to be the new face of Moschino. But today, we're getting even more of a glimpse of Miss KP and all of her sad action glory. Oh, hey there, Miley Cyrus. I mean, Katy Perry. So she's wearing this huge trench coat and heels and is only wearing her birthday suit underneath it all. And her face kind of says it all, you guys, if I'm being honest. But we're getting more than just a sexy nude photo of Katy Perry. She posted a couple of other photos on Instagram. And she looks so chic and fabulous. And I got to say that these Jeremy Scott duds are so hip and cool. But not so functional for the everyday gal, yeah. I have to say, but I thought they looked really cool on her. I love the colors. She looks great and everything. So on the reel after Taylor Swift's red tour, I personally, as a fan, was kind of concerned as to whether or not she'd be able to outdo herself on her next tour. And this lady is proving that this is not a problem at all. In the last three days alone, the guest stars have been off the charts. Taylor had some major megastars join her on stage over the weekend to strut their stuff and even perform. So first up, we have got Bad Blood co-stars Mariska Hargitay and Cara Delevingne. And Taylor even said that Mariska's response when she hit the stage was so loud that she's considering just inviting her on the whole tour. Aww. But that was not it. Pop band Echo Smith also joined Taylor on stage. <laughs> As if that was not enough, there is more. Rachel Platten joined Taylor on stage to sing Fight Song, and even she was totally nerding out. To sing Fight Song to 55,000 people, Taylor Swift. You are amazing, Taylor. Thank you so much for this gift. Oh my God, Taylor's fans, thank you for opening your arms and singing along with me. You guys are incredible. And some other Taylor Swift surprising news. She took a red eye flight back to LA just so she could throw an epic baby shower for her bestie, Miss Jamie King, who you know is about to have a baby. Mm -hmm. She looks so gorgeous. And as per usual, Taylor had a photo booth up in full force, and thankfully so, because we're getting some pics of all the celebrities that attended, including <clears throat> Gigi Hadid, Jessica Alba, Nina Del Rev, and her new beau, Diane Kruger, Haley Steinfeld, Sarah Hyland, Topher Grace, Selma Blair, Emma Roberts, and Joey. King and wow. even more than that. I don't even know how this girl does it all, but I love that mm -hmm. she has such, her squad is growing like exponentially. <laughs> he said, what an incredible, what's <laughs> real, what a criminal little, three, two, and one. <laughs> ah. Ah. Does look like Bison. Ah. I don't like have fun. Ah. Ariana made a small cameo. 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 And could Iggy get a little, 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 little,